Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to the Modest Middle Age Mom. Today, I'm gonna do a no makeup makeup video. So this is real life, this is me. I've gotten dressed and I'm about to fix my hair. This is my face. I've got it cleansed. Um, I've got it moisturized and my teeth are brushed. Um, so I'm, I'm basically ready except for my hair and my face. So I thought today would be a good day to do my no makeup makeup look for you. Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup. Well, let me back up. I never really wore a lot of makeup. I've always worn, like since I was a teenager, worn some foundation or powder foundation and that was about it. I, I had terrible acne when I was a teenager and even into my 20s. Um, and I was very self-conscious about it, as you know, if you've had acne. Um, and it was really, really bad. It was in my 20s, I, it was bad enough that I did Accutane to get rid of it. I had it on my chest and my back. It was just bad. Um, and so I always wore, from the time I was a teenager, powder, a little foundation. I never really wore much more than that, um, unless it was a special occasion. I would do maybe a little blush or mascara, a little eyeliner, but nothing, nothing crazy. Because my mom was never a fan of me um, doing a lot of makeup, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, um, so whatever. Um, but as I've gotten older, I've used a little bit more, I think. Well, I say for years, I just stuck with the foundation and powder. And then before the pandemic hit, or I think it was along there, I noticed my eyebrows were getting a little light, not very dark. I mean, this is my eyebrows, they're, they're kind of I wouldn't say sparse, but they're, I don't know if they're getting gray or the hair in them or they're just lighter. So I started um, wearing some, oh, hold on, let me get my mirror. I'm in a kind of a precarious situation here. I got it on a tripod, but it's not really wanting to stay there. So, where was I? Um, started doing a little bit of eyebrow stuff to help my eyebrows look a little bit darker. I'm not gonna do a lot to my hair today. I don't, been not doing a lot to my hair since the pandemic started. Um, but I'm looking at the back to make sure that everything looks okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm good with that for today. Um, my butt was still okay, my butt was still okay. I'm going to put some of this, um, this is Ava NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. It's kind of like a heat shield, which I'm not putting any heat in it today. Um, but this is kind of oily, kind of, I don't know if I can show you that, if you can see the consistency of that, it's liquidy. Um, so I'm going to rub it on my hands, and I'm going to run it through my hair just to kind of calm down any frizzies that I might have. Um, today is really, really cold, so it might help static. I don't really know about that. I think it probably will with this oily texture to it. Um, and it just adds a little bit. I think I'm gonna actually spray some here in the ends. It's, you have to be really careful because it is, it can make your hair look dirty. But it smells so good. And it's really a heat protectant 10 in 1 primer. I don't know what the 10 in 1 is referred to. Strengthens heat protection, re reduces frizz, detangles, softens, cuts drying time, adds shine, nourishes, smooths, UV protector or protection. So I just like it. Um, it kind of smooths out the frizzies that I have. And, all right, 
that's good on that. So let's, let's spray this front. But so I guess this is kind of just a get ready chat kind of thing. Although I'm already dressed. This dress, by the way, is from my recent um, Old Navy haul. I believe that was my first ever Old Navy haul. <clears throat> Excuse my nose. It's still in its wintertime funk. Uh, this is um, Freeze It. This is my favorite ever for just whatever. It's just an easy hairstyle. It holds it really well. When I curl my hair, spray it in the back, but I haven't been doing a lot of that. Put this little thread on top and finish everything off. Okay, it's kind of got a funny hump right there in the center. Okay, let's see here. I don't know, I got a hair here. I was just watching a video with a guy talking about 90s, no, not early 2000s hair tools, and he was talking about bumpets. I so had bumpets, but I never could make them work, so. Here I am, all these years later, still putting a little bump in the top of my hair. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to go with for my hair for today. For this video, I think I'm going to pull it back in this little scrunchie to get it out of my face. So, this is me. I've done skincare. I've been using Fenty Skin in the mornings. This is cleanser, a toner, it's called Fat Water, Pore Refining Toner. It's kind of, um, if you've ever used hyaluronic acid, I don't know, it may have hyaluronic acid in it. It's kind of that consistency, kind of a liquidy gel-like, and then use the, um, this moisturizer. It also has SPF 30 in it, I believe. Hydrovisor SPF 30. Shimmy squinting. Um, and it's a refillable. You buy this and refill this. This is my first. I had a sample of it from Sephora from my last order. And um, just squirt out a little bit. Might as well use it. Um, and I use the eye cream, the Fenty Skin eye cream. What? I do like the way it makes my skin feel, but what really sold me on it was how wonderful it smells. It smells like cotton candy to me. <clears throat> so that's kind of awesome. It's cold here today. How is it where you are? Pulling up my tights. Excuse me, y'all. Okay. <clears throat> so check out this dress from Old Navy. It was 50% off and I only paid like $22-ish for it. Here's my first no makeup makeup look. Lumify eye drops. I know you're going, what? Lumify eye drops? So look at my eyes. They're naturally red. So I'm gonna show you what this does in a few minutes. Doesn't take much, just a drop or so in each eye and it's going to get rid of the redness in my eyes and make my make my eyes look younger instantly whenever oh, instantly whenever it does its magic I am gonna do a little bit of um, primer just a little across here and here in my nose I have big pores this is elf matte all control, oh no, oh, oh. I can't say without my glasses. Oil control primer, all control. So just a little, I'm not gonna do a lot. It helps blur this out a little bit. Maybe right here, just what's left on my hand. I'm not using a lot, just smooth it out. I will tell you one of my secrets for no makeup makeup is mostly matte because if you want to not look made up you don't want to be sparkly 
Um, this is a Garnier Skin Clearly Bright Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. This has a little coverage, not much, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I do this, I know it looks like a lot, but I just do here because I can. Um, it looks like a lot, but it's not really. Because it's so thin, it'll kind of go away. So today, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I have been using this. Um, my jury's still out. This is ColourPop Pretty Fresh. I think this was like $14 at Ulta. Um, this is Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. So the Hyaluronic Acid will hold um, moisture in. But my jury's out. I just, I got this a few weeks ago and I'm still, it's a little bit thin for me. And I know I'm going for a no makeup makeup look, but it doesn't give me much coverage, really. I do like it. I do like it for like, not, you know, just, not, I'm not going for a super covered look. I do like it. It's a tinted moisturizer, and that's what it is. It's a moisturizer. I got light 7W. I thought this was going to be a little bit yellow for me, in fact. Let me show you. I know I got all this stuff on me, but it actually turned out fine. <clears throat> I'll put a little spot. Up. You see it blends right out. And I want a little bit more than that. So, so let's go in with what I currently, my current favorite is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. <clears throat> now, I don't have a lot of high-end stuff because my, my no makeup makeup journey is relatively new since I mostly just wore powder and a little foundation. So I'm on the hunt for um, a, a makeup that's not heavy. I don't want it to be thick. I just want it to be light coverage. I used this for years and I don't know why I quit. I think because of, I don't, I think this got old, but I really liked this. This is ivory. Um, I wore this for years, so I'm assuming I would still like it. I haven't tried it in a while. It's probably expired and needs to go in the garbage, but I did. This is Ivory 5. I really liked this for a long time. But other than that, I did get a sample of the Charlotte Tilbury. Tilbury? Til however how you say that. Air Air <laughs> Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It was a sample, just a little sample. I do really like this. Now, this is super expensive. I'm not saying I would not buy this. I don't know if I found the right shade. This one is a little bit yellow on me. Um, let's see. And it has a funky smell. See, it's a little bit yellow. I don't know if you can see that in this light. It's a little bit yellow too yellow for me or goldeny. I don't know. It's just not right. So I'm going to cover this up. So it's fine. So right now I actually heard a YouTuber, maybe Jessica Braun talking about this foundation and I didn't buy it. But then one day I was in Dollar Tree and they had it <clears throat> for a dollar. So I thought, well, let's try. So I got it and I liked it. I don't go straight in with this because I think it can get heavy. Um, <clears throat> so I do like it. I'm wearing light, no, rose ivory. And this is matte. Remember, matte. If you're wanting a no makeup makeup look, you don't want to go too heavy. You don't. Okay, so what I do is I dot it around. This is a little bit light for me, just a little bit, but. <clears throat> I actually repurchased that because <clears throat> I ran out of the first bottle. Well, I got down to the cake of yuck. And I'm wetting my sponge. I normally use a, an egg-shaped sponge, but I was out, and so I had these older flat sponges that are made out of the same kind of material that I've been using. I normally have, I did find me one finally, these kind, but that's all I'm using. I'm using a flat one today. I really like the egg kind better, but... This one is what I'm on at the moment. So squeeze that out as much as I can. And then this is Misha BB Cream. This is a special edition, this 
packaging, so it doesn't normally look like this. I have shade number 23. This looks really, really dark, but it shears out. I don't know what kind of magic is in this. I have no idea. I heard Jessica Braun talking about this as well. I really like her. Um, I'm gonna dab it around in places. Okay. Okay. I know I look a little crazy. Okay, so now I'm just gonna dab it out. Dab it. I may need a little bit more, but you see. Okay. Excuse my child in the background. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, let's go in. Pulling it up in the hairline so I don't have a line. Cover my eyes. Now, I am no makeup expert, and so please don't come after me if I do something wrong. I'm new. This is the way I do it. Make sure you get down on your neck. You don't have a line. Pull it up on your ears so you don't have a line. No makeup. Makeup look is going to completely go away if they see a line. Pull it up into your hairline. Make sure you get your nose into my eyes. share everything out. I think I'm going to put a little bit more right of the BB cream, the Misha BB cream. Mine is a number 23. Just a touch. So this is where my stuff starts breaking up in here. Because my skin is oily. More so in the summer than currently with the cold weather. But here we are. Pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back and I am gonna do a little bit of under eye concealer, just a little, not a lot. I have dark circles and I try not to go too heavy because if I start going too heavy, it's really gonna show. <clears throat> I have this one, I'm not gonna turn this around much because I don't wanna blind you. This little mirror I got at Walmart and it's a 20 times magnification. If you don't wanna see stuff on your face you never knew was there, don't get one of these. But if you want to really see, this is awesome. So I'm going to touch. You have to pull it up close. Or you have to. I'm just going to do a little. I'm not going to do a lot. At least I don't think. I'm really not. Now, I'm actually going to use. This is a, a concealer sponge. This is Elf. And it's not wet. My jury's out on this. I don't know. I don't really know what I think about this. I'm a little slow this morning. Now I'm gonna set my under eyes with this number seven. Excuse me, I should have wiped that off before I did this. And that didn't make it much better. Number seven, um, Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder. And mine is light. This, where is my brush I use for this? Um, this, I think I learned about this from Jessica Braun. I love Jessica Braun, her YouTube channel. This is an elf pointed powder brush. I don't have any expensive brushes. My, as I said, my makeup journey is pretty new. So this is a dupe, I believe, for the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder. So I'm gonna just put this under my eyes, around my eyes, just my eyes. I mean, you could use it all over your face, but I'm trying to share out my eyes, make them look. Now, if I get too powdery, don't worry. I'm gonna do the finishing spray and that'll bring the powdery look down. So, there's my eyes. All right, now let's go in with bronzer. Now, I was really, really scared of bronzer, I must admit, but it has become one of my favorite things. I used Milani, had well used Milani. I think I have a new one. I bought a, a, a replacement. This is number two, Sun Kissed is the color, silky matte bronzing powder from Milani. I don't know if you can see that. This is my well-loved and used one. Um, this, for me, it's hard to mess this up. I feel like, knowing me, 
that I could go in too heavy. Sorry, I'm looking for my brush. I feel like I could go in too heavy with bronzing powder, knowing me. But this is so pretty. It's just kind of fades into your skin and it doesn't show up a lot. Honestly, I was afraid of bronzing powder, bronzer at all, but I really do like this. Um, this is an e.l.f. powder brush. It's flat. I don't know if this is the right brush to use for this, but I like it for it, so that's what I use. So I'm gonna go in, you're gonna see me more than you probably think. Okay, and I'm gonna go tap right around my forehead and pull it up into my hair and come down around along where you would think you put blush normally. Go lightly and connect it around your eyes. on my nose, a little bit on my chin, jawbone, jawbone, neck. See how heavy I'm going in with that? And I don't look like a bit out in the sun, do I? Remember, I'm no makeup expert. corner of it, just the corner here. I'm gonna go here. You see, I'm landing pretty heavy with that, but it's not in your face bronzer. So, there's the bronzing step. Now I'm going to go in with blush. This is well loved. You cannot even see the color. I'll show you. I have a new one here. This is a Maybelline Fit Me blush. I know it looks super, super pink, but it's really, really not. It's not. Maybe if you went heavy handed, it may. This is called Pink Rose. And I think I learned about this from Jessica Braun, but mine is I bought a new, new one. I recently bought a Milani brush, bl brush, blush, or I think. Did I have it in my Amazon cart? I don't know if I ever actually ordered it. Um, it's called Dulce, Dulce Perla. And it looks like this soft mauve color. Um, and I think that's really pretty. I'm a little bit worried with this Sam Perla that it may be sparkly. Again, I don't want sparkle. Not There's no sparkle in this. Um, because I don't want to look sparkly makeup-y. Because I'm going for a no makeup makeup look. Um, so, here we go. Um, I don't... The circles I travel in really don't wear a lot of makeup, so I'm really not trying to look made up. I really am not. I'm trying to look like a better version of myself. I don't think I finished the story of when I started wearing more. Um, when COVID started, I was doing Teams meetings with my office because I work in a bank in the back office in a winding area. And I saw how I looked and I was like, do I really look like that all the time? I was so, I, I, you can't even hardly see this. And I'm gonna go high on the cheek because that lifts your face a little bit, at least for me. Maybe because I'm older, it lifts your face a little bit right there. So I'm just going to go right here. It looks high, you see? And I'm gonna blend it right down into that, into that bronzer. So not a lot. Not a lot. See, I have just a little pink tone right there. Um, and I don't have a lot of high-end makeup, so there you go. Shouldn't be too expensive to do what I'm doing. I was afraid to spend a lot of money to begin with, but when I didn't really know what I was doing, so. There we go with that. That's all I'm gonna do. For, oh, you know what I am gonna do? I'll put some of my eyeballs in here. A lot of times, the reason I've used so much of this is I use this for my eyeshadow. I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I think I'm going to actually use eyeshadow. This is an eyeshadow I learned about from Jessica Braun. This is Maybelline Expert Wear. Dusty Rose. It's such a pretty, pretty color. Oh, sorry. 
Um, so I think you will see, let's see, get my brush. And I'm gonna go and get my trusty little mirror. And I have just another e.l.f. brush. Oh, this was, oh, I don't think I told you, this was an e.l.f. brush too. Mineral powder brush, this tiny little brush that I use for my blush. Um, this is another e.l.f. brush. I don't know what this is, but it's a T90 little brush. So, this, this one does have a little pearl. I'm okay for me to have a little shiny on my eyelids because my skin is oily. I didn't use an eye primer. Well, that's okay. Um, and I'm going to pack it on like this. And then I'm going to slow it out. And do the ever so slight layer. There's with, there's without. Not a lot of difference, but it does add a little dimension and color. And now you can build up this color to get darker if you want it. I really don't. I have a little shine, a little sheen. Remember, this is the only place on my eyes. I will do a little shine on, on the bottom. But I'm gonna add shine to my face. And not a lot of color. It doesn't, you can build it up where it's pinker if you keep building, but it's just the prettiest little wash of pink, slight pink. So there we go for that. Now I'm going to do an eyeliner. Now, if you go to church, you're gonna cry, so don't wear anything that's not waterproof. This one doesn't run on me that I've noticed. Um, this is an elf. I bought a mel um, makeup by Mario pen that I heard Jessica Braun talking about. It was like 20 something dollars. This was like what elf is what four or five dollars, six dollars at Walmart. This is a no budge retractable eyeliner. This, what I don't like about this is I have to really push to get this in there. And it's not a lot, but, and I'm really not wanting a lot. So truthfully, it may be perfect for me. I don't know. There again, I'm no expert. I haven't bought a lot of eyeliners in my life. I bought some actual pen eyeliners and I have the hardest time keeping my hands straight. So, I mean, still. So pencils are what I need. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on top of the eyelash, in the lash line and underneath. And I'm only doing the top because I think the bottom, if you start doing a lot on the bottom, it does look a little fake. I don't want to look fake. Or I'm not want to look, that's not the good word. I'm not want to look more super made up. I'm just want to a better version of me that doesn't look dead and tired. I have a straight eyelash that's up high right now. I kind of started to pluck it out, but what has it done to me? So I'm not going to. With without not a lot of difference just slight but a little just a little bit more in here okay. oh can you see how much whiter my eyes are from those lumify eye drops Did one drop in each eye today. Okay. All right. So now let's do. Let's do. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. It's a little mascara. When I go to church, I normally wear this great lash. I try to find mascara that's not clumpy. That ruins it. The no makeup makeup look. I've loved this forever and ever. It's been around forever and ever. I wear this to church. This is waterproof. I don't like wearing waterproof all the time because they say waterproof is not good for you. I got this little Too Faced one um, in a sample from Sephora, I think. I'm not sure it sold at Ulta. I think it was Sephora. But I hate that I like it, but I do really, really like it. And I'm not even gonna tell you the name of it. And I don't even remember what color this is. I don't know if I can see what color it is. 
I don't know. I don't think I can tell what color that is. But I'm not even going to tell you the name of it. I'm going to show it to you. So don't be offended with me, but I do really like this. That's the name of the... <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not sure that I'm actually going to buy it because of the name. But I do really like it. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to use my little mirror. This is the brush on it. You see how it's kind of... And it doesn't clump. I'll show you what I'm going to do. I already get a clump. And I don't go heavy handed. I'm going to try to get over here in this corner. And I'm not going too heavy handed. It's not much. But it does add a little bit. It's not clumping, you see, it's not clumping. It's not clumping. So, I'll show you what I'm going to do to fill them out a little bit. I got this little tool in a two pack at TJ Maxx for like five or six dollars. So, this is this. It's a little lash comb. Be careful, you can poke your eye out. And then I go through, if I've got lumps, and I work on the clumpies, if I have them. See, I almost, there's a little time when I, I almost had none. Or if the lashes stick together too much, I just comb through it. And there we go. Okay, let's do my eyebrows. Oh, I don't really do a lot to my lips. I do have some stuff, but I, I usually just use chapstick. This is wow, Elf Wow Brow. I don't think I got nat neutral or natural brow. I can't see it. I'm just coloring in a little bit. Not quite heavy handed here. I forgot to step in this process too. Alright, I've done that. What you doing, baby? You need to go get your clothes on because we're about to go shopping with Nan. Go in there. Mommy, go. can I do that? No, you're not gonna do this. This is for girls, not for No, you. I just want I just wanna wear my hand. Can I? Huh? Can I wear my hand? Yeah, in front of the... Okay. I want to do that one. Okay. I want to do it too. <laughs> okay. Hey, Mommy, guess what this is? I don't know. It's a, um, shark. Now guess what this is? A fish. A bird. Okay. Go go hunt you some birds. I'll tell you, I'll give you a hint. What? The eagle. A triceratops. I don't know. Keep guessing. I don't know. A snake. I don't know. A bear. It starts with fee. A fee. Frog. I don't know. Go. Listen. He said fish. Fish. All right. Go. Go hunt you some clothes. Something warm because it's cold today. That's my little boy, Sam. He's awesome. But anyway, here we are with my eyebrows. Nothing too too bright or too dark. So I'm going to brush through them. Now that I've done that, make sure they look feathered out. And I'm back comb them and then go back. Back comb and go back. And you know what? I know what I didn't do. I didn't powder everything. So that's what I didn't do. So this is Rimmel Stay Matte. This is well loved. Rimmel Stay Matte. Creamy Natural is my color. And I'm going to use just an e.l.f. Total Face Brush. And I'm gonna go in with this because I'm trying to keep down the oil on my face. I tried to do that before I did my eyebrows, but I did it today, so we'll try to avoid my eyebrows. So, didn't avoid my eyebrows very well. Okay. 
So there's that. Now if I've got too powdery, the um, setting spray will bring that down. And you won't really want to just to tell that I'm too powdery. So I think that's the finished look before I do my setting spray. I have a matte setting spray. I'm I'm not married to the setting spray. It's it's a wet and wild matte finish. Um, so here we go, and this will be it. Okay, let that dry down a bit. That doesn't smell bad. Wave this over. I also watch another lady called Allie Glines who does makeup. Who does? She takes her sponge. No, not this kind of sponge. One of the egg-shaped sponges her wet sponge and then she goes back in I don't really know that and she taps everything down Mommy. yes baby remember this oh no I'm just... Come on. <laughs> yes you can that's fine you need to put you on a shirt underneath hey, it because Mom. it's cold Mom. okay go go I think everybody saw it okay go they saw you I'm with the, your I'm underwear on Go, go put you a, t a shirt on under that. Okay. And there we go. Push all that down in there. And I think I am done. So. A lot of work for not looking like you have makeup on. So what do you think? Let me fix my hair. Pull my hair back out. me for the day. That was, it smells so good from that. My David NYC main magic I put in. So there's the look for the day. So what you think? Do I look too made up? Oh I know something I didn't do. Ah let's do that. It's another eyeliner. This is I got this at Dollar Tree. Um lasting drama light liner and this is the color. There's another place where I put sparkly. I'll do it right, and I'm gonna do my right here in the in the waterline, right there. Is it sparkly there anyway? Because it's wet. Now that's done. So this is the look for the day. I still have my dark circles. Nothing too terrible. I mean it's. 53 years old, what do you expect? So, here we are. I hope you like that tutorial, my version of a tutorial. Um, there again, that's my dog. Um, there again, never been a big makeup wearer. So, hopefully you got some ideas from this. Um, it's been a journey, trying to figure out things that work for me, the right colors, things that didn't make me look really, really made up. But, I think this is a good, no makeup, makeup look for me. And maybe you got some ideas. I didn't do anything to my lips. I do, I need to put some chapstick or something on it. I don't add a lot of color. I do have um, like a Maybelline, is it called Lifter Gloss? It's in Moon, that everybody really likes. But I don't find that lip anything stays on me for very long other than chapstick. So chapstick it usually is for me. Um, so that's where I am with the lips. So sorry, I didn't do anything with that. I do have a, a, a liner. I think it's a Milani liner. That's very, um, my lips, but better kind of, as they say, look that I have that I like. I think it's in my purse that I use sometimes, but I really don't do a lot to my lips other than just straight chapstick. Um, uh, because I think that's one of the things that can look overdone if you, go really heavy into that so anyway any of it can go look overdone well for a no makeup makeup look if you go in too heavy handed you have to just use a light touch um it's been my experience with it so anyway i hope you enjoyed this um i'm glad you joined me so like subscribe if you like my content um and come back we'll do some more brown hauls with modest dresses and skirts and tops i hope you enjoyed this and remember today is a good day to make it a good day i'll see you next time